I could never afford authentic paper mache Halloween decorations from the 1930s, so 25 years ago, I decided to make my own. Two years ago, I wanted to create another one, but only got as far as making the paper mache form. I'll link a good video in the description box if you wanna do your own paper mache. In this two-part series, I'm gonna show you how I decorate my own 1930s style jack-o'-lantern so you can create one for yourself. Look at some photos or illustrations of images you like to create a template. I will need your help to decide some of the elements before part two. Save your $100 and watch this video for free. What did I do with my paintbrushes? Hmm. Oh, my tea. Hi, Adishis. Maybe you can tell, maybe you can't, but I'm still feeling a little peaked, so I haven't really gone anywhere, and I decided I'm gonna do a craft. Let's see what happens, but I have my honey and tea. I'm living on this. I'm just gonna put that on my board, and I'm gonna tape the corners down, just to keep it clean. Well, you also might remember a couple of years ago, I did some paper mache and I was going to make some jack-o'-lanterns and I only got so far. Yeah. Anyway, I have some, uh, I have some paint. This is just some tempura paint that I bought from uh, the dollar store. And then the rest, I don't know why, I didn't have any orange paint. I don't have that much paint because I don't do that many crafts. But uh, I don't know why I didn't have orange because I knew I wanted to do this, this craft, this Halloween craft. So I have some black and I have some orange and red and white in case I need to mix up my own orange. I have, you know, just a little, one of those cheap little palettes. I might have even bought that at the dollar store. Some paint brushes. I just have a spongy one and I have an angled one and I have a a uh, thick one and then I have a teeny tiny one and I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I've done a little sketch of an image that I'd like to put on there can you see it this just is taken from a few different images I just incorporated some pieces that I liked from other vintage style images so the easy first order of business is to paint the inside black. So let me proceed with that. And I don't know if I ever opened it. Hmm. Oh, there it comes. So I've kind of got the bottom and then halfway up the sides done. I'll keep working. I noticed that while I was painting inside that there were some little compromises in the integrity of my paper mache. It's so old. So I, I think I'm gonna try to fix that by just adding some, some, uh, tissue paper with some Mod Podge on it. I think those are pretty good. And I'm just gonna let that dry. So while my Mod Podge is drying, I'm going to darken the outline of my jack-o'-lantern's face. And I'm gonna do a very, oops. Probably made that eye a little big, huh?
And I haven't decided if I'm going to draw the ridge lines or not. So that will be space. And in order to get it onto my jack-o'-lantern, I'm using one of these oil crayons. And I am just drawing across the back of my image so that when I trace it, it will leave a little bit of this mark, hopefully, <laughs> on my jack-o'-lantern. Then I can just trace it with the pencil. And let's let's just try these little lines here and see if it works. Yep. You probably can't see it, but it left a little line there. So yeah, we're gonna just leave it like that and see. Uh, yeah, let's try this orange. See what happens. Let's see what happens. I think I'm gonna use my brush because I want to maybe see some of the strokes of the brush. So let's just try it and, and see. Can see it's not very thick but we have lots of it so so I finished painting my jack-o-lantern and it's kind of some different shades of orange which is fine I kind of wanted it to be not so pristine um, give it a little more of an authentic look so that is drying. I put several coats on there. You can see my palette, all my mixing I've done. Okay, well here is my jack-o'-lantern or going to be jack-o'-lantern. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put his little face right here on this side. You can see that some of it is darker, some of it is lighter and that is okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything special to his opening here. I do want to put some wire on the sides. What do you think? I hope I can make this work. And I colored on it on the back to help me draw it on here. I think I'm going to score the sides to get it to fit my jack-o'-lantern a little better. So I'm just cutting some little slits into the side there. All right, let's see if I can do this. I'm pretty good on that. Let's try. Are you ready? Let's see if it works. It actually did. I can actually see it. Can you see it there? 
and then I will try to go over it. Whew, the mouth though, I don't know about that. Hmm, all right, this eye seems the best, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw this one. nose boy in the mouth this one I did pretty good Now, it's just a matter of which colors. I'm pretty happy with him. What do you think? But I don't want to mess him up by the colors. Maybe I should color in, maybe I should color in my template and see. Luckily, I have these. Okay. So here he is with the black and white. Now I like that. I like the stark white makes him look scared, I think. Makes the jack-o'-lantern look scared. Maybe I need to make his people bigger. No, I'm not gonna start messing around with it. Yeah. And then the black in the mouth. So it's kind of more I guess, anthropomorphic. And then the yellow. There's the yellow. The yellow, I think, gives it a more fun look. Like he's got the, you know, he's the pumpkin that's been carved and has the light inside. So I don't know. At first I thought I like the yellow better, but I don't know. I kind of think I kind of like the white better. I think I kind of like the white better. So I don't know. Or maybe I will end the video here. You can leave a comment in the description box and tell me which one you think I should do and then I'll come back and do it. Whichever wins the most votes. What do you think? Um, also, if you have any ideas for the opening, let me know. I wish I had the one I made a few years, well, I didn't make, I made it like <laughs> almost 25 years ago. So I went and found the one I made years ago. This is really small, it's just, you know, the size of my hand it's very tiny it would be like a little candy container so I made this probably when my daughter was a baby in the late 90s um, and I put rickrack around the opening and I cut kind of a big opening I wonder if this guy need no his eyes are too close to the top and then this was just some wire I probably had bought from a craft store um, probably still have it somewhere but I'm never gonna find that and then I painted the inside black and put glitter in it and this one I think yeah I did do paper mache and I I don't remember if I painted it or covered it with tissue paper at the time I was really doing a lot with decoupage with tissue paper and I might have done that I can't even tell
So I think um, I had seen it on a vintage image and I liked it and I just copied it. Um, it's very simple. And yeah, so this guy's vintage now. Huh? He's not from the 1930s, but he's he's still vintage. He's 25 years old. Wow. So I don't know. Similar, but not exactly the same. Leave a comment and let me know which one you want me to do. And I'll just have to make another video. Have a great day, everyone. Ta.